Cedar City man charged this morning with assaulting two police officers following a reported domestic violence incident. ABC 4's Katie Corrales has the very latest. Police say they did respond to a domestic violence call at a home here at the 200 West block of 535 South just after 3 o'clock this morning. Officers say the man was intoxicated and immediately became very aggressive when he saw them. Domestic violence calls are dangerous, especially with its alcohol fueled. When authorities arrived, a man said his roommate, later identified as Antoine Kente Rainey, had thrown his girlfriend to the ground, causing head and shoulder injuries. Officers say Antoine was enraged by their arrival and refused to tell them his name. When they tried to take him into custody, he started backing up towards his bedroom and they yelled for him to stop. But the suspect allegedly took off running towards his room where authorities chased after him. Police say he slammed the door on one officer, swinging it on his shoulder. There are volatile situations where anything can happen, especially when a suspect flees back into a home. Antoine then swung at that officer with his fist and elbowed another policeman in the jaw. Law enforcement said they would taser him if he didn't comply, and he again resisted arrest. So officers deployed their taser to take him into custody. If he was to, to retrieve a weapon that may have been in that bedroom, there's a lot of unknowns, especially when you're dealing with someone in their home, in their bedroom. They're one of the most unpredictable cases that officers respond to. Now, the suspect is in the Iron County Jail facing seven misdemeanor charges. Police say luckily the two officers involved are in good condition. Reporting in Cedar City, Katie Corrales, ABC4 News.